World of Peace, Dreamland. Hello everybody and welcome to a oh no, no I don't want to do that. <laughs> welcome to a brand new Let's Play! Let's play Kirby Star Allies. So this is a brand new Kirby game on the Switch, if you have not realized. It came out last month. And I really like this game. Uh so as you saw in the opening cutscene, there really is and well there's a little bit of story right now, but, uh, uh spoiler alert, uh, don't get used to that, because this game doesn't really have story. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, a few things I want to talk about here. As you've already probably have seen, have saw, uh, I uploaded two videos yesterday. I'm really hoping that I, my scheduling's correct here. I did, why is my thing down there? Okay, whatever. I did a uh, two. I uploaded two videos yesterday. Both of them were about my next two Let's Plays. This one and another one. I'm doing two Let's Plays now at a time. Uh, that's not always going to be the case. But both of the games that I'm doing are so short. I I won't. They're not so short. But they're, they're pretty short, so I decided to do them both at the same time. Anyway, let's get started with Green Gardens. Let's just, let's just go right into it. Kirby inhales everything he can. Press V to make Kirby inhale enemies. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this game has wonderful music like Kirby games usually do. And it has amazing graphics. This game looks so pretty. One of the... <laughs> It's it's kind of sad that it's one of the most prettiest games on the Switch. Also, I need to get... I I just played this not long ago. I need to get used to the controls. I think I had a different control setup, actually, when I played it last. But anyway, yeah, and like normal Kirby games, you can uh, inhale enemies, get their powers, and Kirby. This is like a normal Kirby game. Oh no, it's a bomb guy. Oh no, Kirby, what are you going to do? Oh no, um, oh no. X? What does X do? A heart! And we throw the heart to get a friend! That is the point of this game, Star Allies. Who would have thought? It's not like they showed it everywhere. It's a cool mechanic, though. I kind of like it. It is kind of hard, though. So, if you don't know, I'm, I, I basically like to explain everything that I can because... Uh, it is pretty useful to people that have never played or seen these games before. Also, Poppy Bros Jr., that's the bomb guy. And we now have Sir Kibble. But anyway, uh, Kirby is an interesting game. This game's interesting. You can have up to four CP, or up to three CPUs with you, my bad. And uh, also, you can see the the controls up there but you can have up to three other cpus with you and yes they all can be uh real people too you can play this locally with your friends or family or whoever you choose to play this with and so there really isn't much else to any explanation with this game it basically teaches you everything you need to know as you go along and, yeah, this game is, uh, I think it's really meant for, uh, the more casual players, definitely. Because it's, it's really easy. They throw one-ups at you like it's candy, and you, oh, that was cool. And it's just, uh, really insane. Oh, hello, fire dude. I... I will throw my hearts at you. Okay. So this is basically teaching us that if we have an element that we can combine powers. Sizzle sword! Attack up! I actually don't know how much attack up we get. But hey, it's attack up, am I right? 
and you can also combine it with others too. So let's get everybody with the sizzle. Oh, sizzle bomb. Why do I feel that's not a good thing? Why do we have a sizzle bomb now and sizzle cutter? Uh, you better not explode on me. Oh no! My, okay, well, that, <laughs> I didn't even know I swallowed a sword guy. I do not know the enemies, by the way. We also have Burning Leo on our thing team now. I do not know the enemies' names at all. I'm so sorry if that annoys you if you're a big Kirby fan. Uh, but, you know, there are a lot of enemies in Kirby. And so I'll mostly just be calling them by, like, what ability that they have. Or if they don't even have an ability, I probably won't even call them a name. So, I'm sorry if that annoys you. I'm not the biggest Kirby fan out there. In fact, the last Kirby game that I played, I've only, I've only beaten two Kirby games besides this one. That is Epic Yarn and Triple Deluxe. I played Planet Robobot, but I never finished it. I got really close to finishing it. I should probably go back to it, but I just thought it was so much like uh, Triple Deluxe. Anyway, I it was very late, but we have bombs now. They're pretty, they're pretty good, and also. You might have noticed that we are collecting these puzzle pieces. Uh, they're they're just the collectibles in this game. Ooh, I want you. Um, I'm gonna get rid of Sir Kibble. I'm sorry. You're kind of like knight anyway. Uh, oh, we got Mr. Frosty. Oh boy. Oh uh, no. Uh, so yeah, it can get a little bit confusing on who exactly you are. Uh, I'm gonna throw it. Um... Really what I like to do is I like to have two guys that can, uh, combine elements, and then I like to have two elementals. Uh, so... Uh... I'm probably gonna get rid of Waddledoo. I'm sorry, Waddledoo. But anyway, uh, I, okay, well, there are also some enemies that you can't befriend, because that's... That is life. You cannot befriend everybody. Uh, there's another. I did not mean to do that. I really need a. Oh. Okay, it doesn't let us get rid of friends at this point. Okay. Good thing we have them, though. There's this secret over here. And this should be. Yep! This is the big collectible in the levels the giant magical puzzle piece. It, 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 we'll get it more into the puzzle pieces later when they actually when we actually finish the level. But also, this game will probably be uh, going at the same. Can I? Okay, we'll probably be going at the same time. Not like time, time, but like the episodes will probably be. There we go. The episodes will probably be as long as Galaxy was, and also we're at the end of the first level already. I'm gonna. I'm telling you, this game goes by super quickly. And we got this nice little Kirby game, this this goal game. It's usually at the end of all Kirby levels and stuff. Is that a one? That was a one. Yes. Don't get used to it. I'm bad at timing this. Yeah. Such a cute little Kirby game. This game is pretty adorable, though. I, I I do like Kirby a lot. I will say that. And here's where the puzzle pieces go. You fill up pictures, basically. And, and that's really it. They're not useful at all. You don't even have to collect them. But for the sake of wanting to basically let's play this the best that I can, I will be getting every... You see, I will be getting the gold heart and the puzzle pieces in every single level. I don't know what the gold hearts actually mean still. I think they mean... I did not read what this level was called. I am sorry. <laughs> I just kind of went for it. Yeah, this is going to be different. I'm going to have to get used to it. Oh no, we got another dude. It's a water dude. I'm going to get rid of ice. 
Water and fire. I did not want to do that. I seriously... I think I'm gonna have to configure it like how I usually have it. It's just different. Well... I... Oh. Oh, with A. Okay. Well, I did it my own way. Oh my gosh. Moving pathways. Oh no. Okay, so over here is another switch. Oh no! He was, he was lacking behind. Okay, so I don't have water with me. I'm gonna get water now. Ooh. Splash sword. So yeah. Uh, it's actually kind of interesting because uh, I'm, I'm just gonna talk here for a little bit. Sorry if there's anything going on that I don't really explain right now. Uh, but I don't really think this game needs explanation. You kind of just go for it. Um, but anyway, I kind of find this game and Bayonetta to be both similar and different. Uh, which, which is why I wanted to do them both together. And you could just kind of see how they're alike and different. And I, I know it's a very long stretch, but I, I just feel that, 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 that they are kind of alike. Maybe not to the extent of, oh my gosh, they're like the exact same thing, because, uh, uh, well, you'll see it tomorrow with Bayonetta. But it's just, it's just really, really good thoughts that I came up with to do these Let's Plays together. And I kind of went off on what I was actually going to say because I forgot what I was going to say entirely already. I'm such a good Let's Player. But hey, I make content and I try, so, uh, replace with Rocky. Goodbye, bomb. You are... Okay. Well. I guess Rocky can't really do much right now. We don't have a certain enemy that we need. Or a certain friend that we need. Oh, but he can do that. Well, I guess it kind of worked out. We got another puzzle pieces. So, we're already at 13 lives. In uh, my previous... Uh, well... I've only played this once, but, oh, what? Splash curling? Why wasn't this used before, excuse me? I tried using that before. I get... Okay, I could have sworn that that was an actual thing, but now he decided to do it. I was trying to do it earlier, but, you know, I mean, I guess whatever. Okay, uh, we got another thing over here. Can you do it? Oh, look at the Mario block. And these kind of doors are different from the three-star doors, where you, you usually have a little puzzle that you have to do. Um, I will get rid of fire. And we need rock over here. Yeah. Do, do, do your magic. There we go. <laughs> That took way too long than it needed to be. And there's a whole bunch of stuff! But yeah, in my very first playthrough of this, this is my second playthrough, as I already stated, I don't know why I'm still talking. Uh, I have the need to, like, explain everything to, when I'm talking. And I don't understand why. But anyway. In my first playthrough... I only died three times. And let me tell you, the amount of lives that you can get does not cap at 99. So uh, let's see how many lives that we can get by the end of this Let's Play. Take your, place your bets now, and whoever whoever wins, uh, I, I mean, I don't have much to give you. Uh, maybe, maybe a chocolate bar. Two dollar, two dollar chocolate bar. That's I, I don't know. I, I haven't had a chocolate bar in a while. I had to buy one, so uh, 
I don't exactly know how much chocolate bar costs anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. There's another another giant puzzle piece. So, depending on how long it takes me with these levels, uh, well, we did have that beginning, so it does make sense why it's going like we're only at the second level and it's almost the end of the episode. Yeah, definitely. So. A weird thing that I did is that I was decided to record Bayonetta first, and I recorded the first, the first episode of that only, instead of recording this first, and it's weird because this is coming out first and then Bayonetta, so, you know. Also, there's a switch here. These switches are in some levels you will see in the corner of when you're about to enter the level, if it is there or not. Really, these things are not hard to find at all. I've only really struggled with maybe one or two collectibles that I needed to get in a level, and so I had to replay it. But honestly, this game is so fun. Like, I didn't expect it to be this fun, but it's so fun that I'm fine with replaying these levels. Like, I, I just don't understand what it is about it, but it's really it's a really fun game for how short it is. Anyway, we got another level completed and got to a door. And the goal game. And I did not get it. I got second though. Bada 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 ba ba da ba ba da ba da ba I thought it was longer. <laughs> it might be longer with the first one. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna make that a thing instead of you got a store. <laughs> okay. Got more of those. Which I believe you can keep collecting them in the levels. This game really wants you to replay levels. Which they should have added more levels. But, uh, what is that? Oh, what was the name of this level, by the way? Also, that thing, the Dream Palace. I did not read what it does. I'm so sorry. You might meet legendary characters. The Dream Palace has now is now unlocked. Donut Dome, that's what it was called. Uh, so let's just go in the Dream Palace real quick. Something that I should explain is that you're probably gonna see me without friends or switching friends a lot. And before I go touch what's over there, I need to explain this really quick. Um, this game, whenever you exit it takes away your friends just because it's very easy to get friends as you saw in these first two levels and so you might see times where i don't have the same friends or abilities that i did because i do a lot of off and on recording in my sessions and so i really just wanted to explain that just before anybody's like oh what happened to your friends yeah they 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 die when you leave. Remember that. This is the Dream Palace. You can meet dream characters here. Oh, okay. If you use the Dream Rod. When you grab the Dream Rod, the roulette will start. Press A to call dream friends. So this is after the update that came out for Kirby. Star Allies. Uh, the update added three new of these characters that you can get here, which might pop up. Yeah, they're there. Uh, if you wait longer, we okay, we got Gooey, I think his name is. Yeah, Gooey. You can use this at any time. I don't know what Gooey does. Uh, I know Gooey was sort of like a character, and <laughs> sort of a character, was, was a popular character, I think. Uh, yeah. Can we use this? Oh, I did not know that. Okay, well, we got that explained now. So, uh, we got we got our friends trailing behind us. I also like being able to... Uh, nope, I don't want to do that. Uh, nope, I don't want to do that either, but here's the, the list of stages. Wanted to jump, thank you. So, we got our trail of friends behind us as we're circling this area. Honey Hill. And, yeah... 
that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, it's Trust me, this is a lot shorter than the episode of Bayonetta that's going to come out tomorrow. But anyway, this game is fun, and I'm glad to be Let's Playing it. Uh, especially since it's a month after it came out. As you can see, I'm doing all of these newer games, and I know Bayonetta isn't newer, but it, it came out on the Switch like just recently, so... I'm, I'm classifying it as newer. It's a new game to me, okay? <laughs> anyway, that's it for this episode. Uh, oh, oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. One more thing. If you're at this... <laughs> I'm so sorry. If you're at the end of this episode, congratulations. I really have something important to ask. I'm not sure how the audio levels are, uh, levels are going to be for these next two Let's Plays. So... If anything sounds too loud or too quiet, please let me know down in the comments and I will try my best to fix that for the next episodes and hopefully fix it for the rest of the series. Uh, so yeah, I, I really, if you could really do that, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. But anyway, that's it for this for this episode. Well, the, the blue squad, the squad, the blue squad is behind me right now. And in the next episode, we'll be traveling to Honey Hill. I'll see you guys then.